So we talk about hydrocarbons. Hydrocarbon word is derived from two small words hydro and carbon. The word hydro refers to hydrogen and the word carbon refers to carbon. So that means the compounds of carbon and hydrogen. They are known as hydrocarbons. So if we study these hydrocarbons and we split up into three parts, we have three types of hydrocarbon. Alkanes, alkenes and alkynes. Alkanes are the compounds with a single bond Alkenes are the compounds with a double bond and alkynes are the compounds with a triple bond. Alkenes can be represented with the general formula CnH2n plus 2. Alkenes can be represented by the formula CnH2n and alkynes can be represented by the formula CnH2n minus 2. So these three categories, they come under hydrocarbon. But if we talk about N, N refers to the number of carbon atoms. So if we talk about carbon atoms, it can be from 1 to million. So here we'll be discussing about N having value from 1 to 10. So if N is 1, we use the word root Min. If n is equal to 2, we use the word root 8. If n is 3, we use the word root prop. If it is 4, we use but. If it is 5, we use paint. If it is 6, we use hex. If it is 7, we use hex. If it is 8, we use oct. If it is 9, we use non. And if it is 10, we use dig. That means here, n refers to the number of carbon atoms. Now we talk about the suffix. The suffix which is used in alkene is in. Alkene is in. And alkyne is an. So how do we write down the molecular formula of a compound? To write down the molecular formula, to write down the simplest molecular formula, we will have two things put together. The first is word root and the second is suffix. For example, if I say my hydrocarbon has got six carbon atoms. So that means N refers to six because it has got six carbon atoms. And if I say it is an alkane. So alkane gives me an idea that the formula is CnH2n plus 2. Now I will put the value six over here and I'll get the formula C6. H, 2 into 6 is 12, 12 plus 2 is 14. So that means the molecular formula I derive is C6H14. And what is the word root? If N is equal to 6, I use the word hex. So I will get hex. And since it was alkane, I'm going to use the word suffix A. So that means now my compound will be given the name hexane. Let's just take another example. If I say I have got eight carbon atoms in the compound and that compound belongs to the group alkene. So if it belongs to alkene, I will be using the formula CnH2n. So if I use this formula CnH2n, I will get C as eight and H will be eight to the 16. From 8, I come to know that my word root is oct. And from in, I come to know that my suffix is in. 
सो द नेम विल बी ऑप्टीन सो लेट्स टेक अनादर एग्जाम्पल वी टेक द एग्जाम्पल फ्रॉम एल्काइन एल्काइन Let's consider we have five carbon atoms in alkyne. So, if there are five carbon atoms in alkyne, we have the formula of alkyne as C N H two N minus two. This is C five. H will be two fives are ten. Ten minus two is eight. C five H eight. From five, we come to know that this is pent. and from i and from alkyne we have i so ultimately it results in the formation of pentyne so this is how the molecular formula and molecular formula name can be derived now if we just put the values one by one let's say n is equal to 1 and we have alkene cn H two N plus two. So if it is one, we get C one H two ones are two plus two four, and we get meth in. If it is two, if N is two, we will get C two H is two two is a four plus two six. The name will be eth in. If N is equal to three. I'll get C three H three two is a six and two eight. That is prop in. If n is equal to four, this will be C four H ten. This will be butane. If n is equal to five, we'll put C five. We will get H twelve, and this will be pentane. similarly by putting the values n is equal to 6 and so on we will get the next alkene member of the series but what is this complete series known as this series where we put the values of carbon atom or value of n in the same general formula we derive at a series which is known as homologous series If we put the formula in alkene, we get the homologous series of alkene. If we put it in alkene, we get the homologous series of alkene. And if we put in alkyne, we get the homologous series of alkyne. Now, what is the basic, the character which define a homologous series? So, homologous series can be produced by putting the value of n in the same formula in the same general formula for example here i just put the value of n in the formula of alkene so when i used the formula of alkene i derived the homologous series of alkene now each member of this series it differ by ch2 group what does this ch2 group means for example i can take any two members of these um, alkenes let us say i take propane and i take butane propane is c3h8 butane is c4h10 and if i just subtract 2 4 minus 3 is 1 so one carbon will be left h10 minus h8 is 2 so that means each member will differ by ch2 group you can even consider it for pentane and butane so 5 minus 4 will be 1 and 12 minus 10 will be 2 and then they have the similar chemical properties they have or you can say they can show a gradation they show a gradation in physical properties 
they are the properties are almost similar but they just increase or decrease down the group they show a general trend and they can be prepared by similar methods of preparation so by using the same method all those hydrocarbons can be made the last point when we talk about ch2 growth if we want to calculate the molecular mass so carbon has got weight 12 hydrogen is 1 so 2 into hydrogen is 2 into 1 that is 2 so this is 14 so that means two members of the series they differ by 14 amu so that means one homologous series can be derived by putting the value of n in the same molecular formula which is always given definitely for one particular series